You could argue it's the world's top tennis job, executive director and chief operating officer of the USTA, and with it, managing the biggest tournament in the world, the US Open. Anybody would take that job in a heartbeat, right? But for Gordon Smith's friends and colleagues, they thought he might be crazy. I've got to tell you, when he threw his hat in the ring, uh, I was really amazed. I come from a long line of lawyers, and I don't know one of them who would give up the kind of salary that Gordon Smith was making as a lawyer to come over and tackle the USTA. And when he told his partners that he was uh, going to be leaving the law firm, uh, to take up tennis, I, I, I think it took quite some time for them to get their jaws off the ground. A long way from the hard courts of Rome, Georgia, where his big left-handed serve earned him a big-time scholarship. He was a tall, gangly young man, and he had sideburns, and uh, he didn't impress me that much as a player until he really became 15, 16 years old. And all of a sudden, Gordon was at the top of the junior uh, rankings. When I used to come over, every summer to play the junior circuit uh, in the first in the south and then we went up to the mid midwest we met uh, and uh, and we played in the at the old Bitsy Grant Tennis Center in Atlanta and uh, that's when coach McGill came over we had both already committed to come to Georgia and he beat me uh, on that uh, center court court two at Bitsy Grant. Talking about Gordon sir being a, a six foot six left-hander he had that uh, wicked slice that could pull you off the court and into the fence but uh, Gordon being 6'6", six, six, probably hit that ball at about four and a half feet. I don't know how he did it, but he got more spin and more action on that ball than any lefty I've ever met. A championship career at the University of Georgia came next. He won four individual SEC titles and won a team title in 1975. He also took with him an even bigger prize. When he met his, his wife, uh, Jane, I was there. And Jane was a very shy girl her freshman year. And, uh, you know, we noticed during our practice uh, one day that Jane was up at, uh, there was somebody back in the woods behind uh, what, what is now the grandstand. It didn't used to be a grandstand. And there was somebody back there watching our practice. And I said, you know, we may have some kind of spy coach back there in the, in the woods. And, and Coach McGill walked up the hill and walked into the woods. And, came down with this young lady who just loved to watch tennis, but she didn't want to be intrusive. And so uh, at the end of practice, uh, Coach McGill kind of introduced uh, us all to, to Jane, and, and they got to know each other, and, and they went on to date for four years and then get married and have a beautiful, beautiful family. After college, it was off to an impressive career in Atlanta law. He grew to senior partner at King & Spalding, but the itch to stay involved in tennis never left him. In the early 1990s, we were in need, Southern Tennis Association was in need of a legal counsel, and someone recommended that I call Gordon Smith, and that was uh, probably one of the best calls I've ever made. Gordon uh, became our legal counsel and served in that role for uh, a decade plus. All of a sudden, here he is as a volunteer for USTA Southern, USTA Atlanta, and he referred to himself as the free lawyer for USTA Southern. And he uh, also became a member of the Georgia Tennis Foundation Board. In the mid-1990s, we approached Lamar Hunt for the donation of what was Peachtree World of Tennis to the Southern Tennis Patrons Foundation. Uh, and Gordon and his, uh, through his law firm at King and Spalding, just did some magnificent work bringing that to fruition. And uh, that facility has been a tennis club now for the 16 years that the Southern Tennis Patrons Foundation has been an owner, uh, much to the uh, hard work that Gordon put into it. Then, at age 55, he gave up his day job at King and Spalding to come work full time for the USTA. But the tennis community wasn't surprised, nor were they anxious about his transition. It was a great thrill for me when Gordon actually became the executive director of USTA. Uh, I can't think of a better candidate for that position, not only because of his business experience, his, business, his uh, experience with law, and also the fact that he absolutely has a great passion for tennis. 
Still, there was a new office and new staff to impress, and Smith's Southern charm was an easy winner up in White Plains. You know, it didn't take long after Gordon joined the USTA for many of us to realize things were never going to be the same up here in New York. Um, he went on a hunting trip, I think his first month on the job, and uh, he sent us all an email of his freshly killed giant elk with a huge rack. Gordon's got this big smile on his face sitting in the field with, you know, this elk he just killed. So it ca caught a lot of uh, the New Yorkers here by surprise, quickly made the rounds on email. Uh, what also was surprising was six weeks later, him serving elk chili at one of his senior management meetings, and then his first senior management retreat where he took his team to his cabin in the Georgia mountains, we shot pumpkins with rifles. So all of it's been a lot of fun. We can't wait till next year's retreat where he's promised us machine guns. But luckily, it's all worked out pretty well. I realize now that when Gordon doesn't return my calls, that I'm doing a pretty good job. And since he rarely returns my calls, unless it's about Someone else from Georgia, like a Melanie Uden, he gets excited about the Georgia kids, then he perks up. So I give him a little, a few tidbits on some of the players. Gordon Smith has a ticket to the game's best seat at the USTA, and the appreciation of his tennis career is unanimous from all corners of his current and previous life. He firmly believes that USTA is on the right path, and he's shown great leadership against some pretty strong opposition but he has continued to beat that drum and to live that cause on a day-to-day -day basis. And he has been a wonderful ambassador. Georgia is very proud of, of Gordon. As a fellow Roman, I'm very proud of him, and as is everybody from Rome. Oh boy, I'm very proud of Gordon, and I'm not surprised in the, in the least. He, uh, not surprised that anything he accomplished. Very smart and very personable. He could be elected governor or president. Congratulations to Gordon Smith, a 2012 inductee into the Georgia Tennis Hall of Fame.